Hey guys, it's Brittany. So today's video is a very highly requested video from my subscribers. I'm going to be doing my wig favorites video. It's not going to be a countdown because after like my top two, I don't have like an order for them. So I'm just going to give you guys a list of some of my favorite wigs. If you guys are interested in any of the wigs that I mentioned in this video, I'm going to list the reviews the original reviews in the description box for you guys and in the original review videos I'll have the links to where you can purchase it so let's get right into the video so one wig that is one of my favorites is free trust heaven now I'm gonna say free trust heaven and model model joy because they are the same wig Even when I recorded the model model joy video and I said that they're the same wig people still ask me do I have a preference I don't they're the same wig in my opinion even though I've been wearing um, free trust heaven a lot more than joy just because free trust heaven I have it in the number two and it's just a more everyday look and I've worn this to school for like two weeks straight during the work week and I'm gonna try it on for you guys so you guys will see what it looks like right now I got this wig in June and I've worn it collectively for about two two and a half weeks this is what free trust heaven looks like worn every day pretty much for two weeks straight. Still looks very pretty. Tight bump that was there when I first got it, it's relaxed a little bit. And I know some people ask me about, was I gonna flat iron the end so it wasn't like that? But it naturally did that after I wore it, after I wore it a lot. So this is what Free Trust Heaven looks like. This wig is, it's amazing, it really is. If you have to have a wig in your collection, is this one. I get compliments on this hair all the time. Like, I don't get like, oh, that's, oh, you're so in or your wig looks good. I get who does your hair because it just looks so natural. And as you guys can see, I just plopped it on my head. I usually put powder and stuff in my parts, but today I just, I just put it on my head and it looks perfectly fine. Oh my gosh. This is still a gorgeous wig. It's beautiful. I'm gonna try on Model Models Joy for you guys one more time. I have not worn Model Models Joy at all, but I've worn Free Trust Heaven a lot. But I just wanna see what it's like because I haven't worn it since I reviewed it. Since I made a review on Model Models Joy in 99J, I actually went in with a permanent marker and added a kind of light root to it. Just like a small root to it, just so it would blend with my hair. But you don't have to do that. I just felt like it looked better with a dark root oh my gosh okay and here's the model model joy in 99j I didn't put anything on my part for this one either but I could I'm just not gonna do that because I think it looks fine just for trying on purposes but yeah this one as well you can't go with you can't go wrong with getting model models joy or free chest heaven because I think they are the same wig and this color for the fall I'm so glad that I got my hands on this 99J because it's gonna be so pretty in the fall with chunky scars and dark makeup dark lipstick I'm ready for it guys yeah this is so beautiful but the bad thing about it is it's right now free trust heaven and model model joy they're so popular still that you know they're out of stock on all the websites so you gotta keep your eyes peeled to, to catch them. Okay guys, so the wig that I have on right now is Isis BS201. If you remember this review, I was going crazy over this wig. After a while, I wore this wig a lot, like a lot. And the ends started to get really ratty. And so I was kind of rethinking like, is this really one of my favorites? Because it was starting to look really bad, but I decided to take it out of the box today and flat iron the ends because the ends got so ratty and tangled um, because I did wear it a lot. 
but I put a flat iron on it and straightened it out. It doesn't have as much bump now that I flat ironed it, but it looks so pretty. And I think it looks, it's just gorgeous. So I still really love this wig. I like straight hair on me, I like dark hair on me, and I like a, a wig with a little bang in it. This is just, is gorgeous. And I think I paid like $31 for this wig, so I think this was a great buy. This has great luster to it. I don't think it sheds that much. The parting space looks great. I haven't put any powder on it today, but I think it looks, it looks great anyway. But what I will say, because it's soft lace, it did not lay flat to my head. So I did do the elastic band method with this wig, and yes, I'm gonna do a video for you guys. I just have to um, record it for you guys, and I'll have that up probably on Saturday maybe. Don't hold me to it, but I'm gonna have it up soon. But yeah, I sewed elastic um, around my parting space and it lays flat on my head now. So BS201 is definitely one of my favorites. It's just gorgeous. So this is BS202. If you watch my JCAT beauty haul, you saw me raving about this wig for um, a few minutes. But I think this wig is very beautiful, mainly because of this color. And the color is SR430-350. This is, I think this is the only wig that I have in this color, but I would love to try more in this color because I think it's very flattering on me and it's flattering on a lot of other people. So um, I think this is also going to be a nice wig for the fall, even though I will wear any color any time of year, but I think this is very appropriate for the fall it's just like a fall color is beautiful it's it doesn't have too many layers in it it's pretty much just straight and it's about 18 inches long it's very full it has a very low luster if it has any humps or anything in it it's because my hair is braided for a side part not a middle part but i still made it work um and i think the parting space looks pretty good right now it looks pretty good i did add powder to it because this particular part I always have trouble with the line of demarcation in it. I definitely had to add powder to this one. And just like with my BS201, I did add elastic to the closure part just so it would lay flatter to my head. And it does work for the most part, but I still have to add powder to mine to make it look more natural and believable. Yeah, so this is, this is another one of my favorites, guys. Okay, guys, next up we have Free Tress Janie. Now, Free Tress Janie is another wig like um, Heaven that's insanely popular on YouTube and is currently sold out like everywhere. Another wig that's worth the hype and it's a wig that I would suggest to people just starting out wearing wigs because it's effortless and it looks very natural. The texture is very natural and it feels awesome. Um, the luster is very low. I think I did pull some hairs out of parting space though. I think the parting space was not good right out the pack, but just pulling some hairs out the parting space isn't that difficult to do. Um, just do maybe like two or three strands at a time. Don't do like four or five and then get a hole in it. So take your time when you're uh, pulling hairs out of your parting space. I think Free Trust Janie kind of replaces Natural Yaki 18 by Altre. And I like that wig a lot, but they're, they're very similar. So, I mean, if you get Natural Yaki 18, it's totally fine and it's beautiful. But I think this one, something about it that I like more, the way it falls or something. But I do like Natural Yaki 18, and you're not gonna see that on my list, only because I feel like Free Trust Janie replaces it for me. I don't know exactly why, I just kind of like it more for some reason. Okay guys, so the next wig is Altre Natural Yaki's um, 24 inch. Now, I said I wasn't gonna put the 18 inch on there. Free Tress doesn't have a long Yaki wig like Altre Natural Yaki in the 24 inch. So for now, I like this one a whole lot. It's beautiful. It has layers in it and it's bumped slightly. So that's that's one reason why I like this wig. I did have to tweeze the parting space as I had to do with Janie and 
Natural Yaki uh, 18. They all have really bad parting space out right out the pack, so you do have to manipulate the part, but I think it looks fine after you tweeze it or pull hairs from it. This color is DR425. It's going to be so beautiful in the fall, like a lot of these wigs that I'm showing you guys. I love the way red looks on me. I've been wanting a long black wig with a middle part, so I'm going to buy this wig in a number two and wear it in the middle part. And a side part as well, because I think that would be I think that would be pretty too. So I'm gonna get this wig again, but next time in a number two. Alright guys, so the next wig is Free Tress Mizzy. Now I'm a little apprehensive to put this on the list because I haven't worn it much, but I think it is so beautiful. Like as soon as I put it on, I feel like it transforms my face, it brightens me up. It's just so pretty. I love it but this is not one I would like wholeheartedly suggest that you get because this particular color which is the SOH 627 613 this particular color it does shed a lot and the ends get tangled really fast and I've only worn this wig out probably one time I cut about four inches off because I just felt like it was too long and then it was uh, starting to get kind of ratty with not much wear on it. So I did cut about four inches off earlier today and I like this length. It's a little bit more manageable for me. This wig is a high maintenance wig. This one you need a paddle brush in your purse um, because it's going to get tangled throughout the day. Um, and I know some people don't like the skin top but I, I think this looks pretty nice. The part in the space looks pretty nice. I didn't put any powder or anything in it today. I can still see where the lace starts and stuff like that, but you don't have to really do that much to the parting space, so that's something that um, I do like about this wig. This is definitely weekend hair, but I put it on my favorites list because of the color and the style and the way it makes me feel. Um, I put other wigs on my list like Janie and uh, heaven and stuff because they are, they look really real they look really realistic and you can wear them every day but this one I put this on my list because of the color and the way it makes me feel when I put it on so Mizzy is also on my list but I don't think I would suggest this wig for everybody because it does have its cons all right guys so the next wig is Janet Collections Bisa now Bisa was so 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 popular in 2014 reviewed Bisa three times. I had it in this color which is SC1516 and then I reviewed it in SC1517 which is a red color and then I reviewed it in the number two. Bisa is still one of my favorites. There have been tons of long straight yakky textured wigs that have come out since Bisa debuted but I still really like Bisa. It doesn't have layers in it at all which which is kind of a con but I still like the look of this really straight hair on me so I wore Bisa for my birthday last year when I turned 24 um I wore the red color and then this year when I turned 25 I wore Bisa in a number two it's just a beautiful sleek look okay guys so this wig that I have on right now is one of my absolute most favorite wigs that I have ever bought and this wig is model models like this wig is not popular at all on youtube i think i've seen three reviews on this wig and i understand why because when you first get this wig out of the pack it looks awful it looks like curly fries the part in space is really tight it's not only tight but it's really dense it's like really thick in the part in space so if you watched my transformation video, you saw that I, I pulled hairs out of the parting space and then I took some scissors and kind of took away some of the bulk out of the parting space. I didn't show the, the scissors part because that was like my first time ever, ever doing that to a wig, but it worked out for me. I think about a month ago, I just, I just took this wig out of the pack and started wearing it some more and it looks so much better now uh with age so you know with curly wigs they look better as they get older 
and this wig is just absolutely gorgeous it took me a while to get it to this uh to this look because even when the curls just look right i would look at the parting space and it would look like too perfect or something and as you guys can see you can't even see the parting space on the wig now and i'll tell you why i decided to fill it in with i use a black sharpie or like an eyeliner pencil or something to fill it in all the way if you look at natural hair like women who have natural hair and it's really big and it's really curly you can't see a defined part like your roots are going to be really thick and you can't see a part in space so i was like that's why it doesn't look as realistic as i want it to because it doesn't it doesn't make sense to have a really defined part on kinky curly hair in my opinion and you guys know how i am about part in space like you gotta have a super defined part and everything but with this texture of hair i don't think you should so i think it looks so much better like this and it looks more like a half wig and you know half wigs look very natural so i like that i feel the parting space in it looks it looks better to me like 10 times better uh, this is this is one of my favorite wigs and this color is just so beautiful this is om 430 p it's just gorgeous and this curl pattern is beautiful i can't say enough about this wig i give this wig the hidden gem award like you you're gonna have to work to make it look pretty and i don't think it's gonna look right on everybody because i don't think everybody wants to put that kind of effort into a wig but I'm so glad that I did because this is one of my favorite wigs ever and it's just so beautiful. Okay guys, so this is my absolute favorite wig of all time. Now, if you watch my channel a lot, you know that I mention Nancy like all the time. So Nancy by Sensational is my favorite wig of all time. I've owned about probably six or seven Nancy's. I have owned her in probably think, three colors. I usually always get this number two. I've gotten the DX T30 and I've gotten the DR425. But the number two is my absolute favorite because it's a very natural look. And it's like an effortless wave, wavy look. It's just so beautiful. And you can wear it to, to the side like I have it on right now. And it has this gorgeous swoop. <clears throat> or you can wear it in the middle i've worn it in the middle and it looks so cute but i will say i can't speak for everybody else but for me nancy's don't tend to last long for me like they they wear out very very quickly and i'm talking like three weeks or so um but i usually wear my nancy's really heavy so that's why they wear out so quickly probably but yeah they do wear out pretty quickly okay guys so that was my wig favorites list for you guys i would like to do a wig q a video if you have any specific questions about synthetic wigs specifically um put them down below tell me which wig from this list is your favorite that you've tried i thank you guys so much for supporting my channel i just reached 15,000 subscribers last week and that is insane because i was watching a video from september of 2014 and I was talking about how I had reached 800 subscribers. So that's that's crazy to go from 800 one year to 15,000 the next year. So I appreciate um, all the new and old subscribers, especially my loyal subscribers that watch my videos no matter what, no matter how long they are. I really appreciate it, guys. So I think I am moving towards my goal of 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So help me make that goal. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. I told you guys I'm very busy with school and student teaching, but I'm still gonna try to post videos for you guys probably at least once a week, probably on the weekends. But I thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, just put them down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.